A series of firecrackers marked the start of an armed raid to capture a key figure in London's criminal underworld. It's part of the country's biggest ever crackdown on organised crime. Gun running, drug trafficking and money laundering made up a world which has too often been out of reach of police. But cracking an encrypted criminal command and control system has delivered what one police chief described as an unparalleled victory for law enforcement against the untouchables. In this operation, we're talking about the top level of criminality. Those people who have felt that for many years they've been, out, been untouched by law enforcement, that we've been able to arrest and take down, and we will be prosecuting them and putting them before the courts, but also some of those that work within their criminal networks. But this is just the start. The key was decrypting mobile phone handsets linked to a platform known as EncroChat, operated from France and used the NCSA exclusively for drug deals, gun running and plots to kill rivals in turf wars. This was about organised crime, not just in the UK, but across Europe, from Scandinavia to Spain. Now, what seems to be a possible in only in thrillers and in uh, police series we've actually seen it happen before our own eyes during these past few years we've actually been able to see what happens in real time with the criminals and these uh, messages that we've captured uh, give us a, a very detailed uh, view of uh, daily life in the uh, criminal world daily life included this pill factory in kent which is allegedly part of one of the criminal networks uncovered with links to Glasgow. 28 million tablets of Etisalam, known as Street Valium, were found. The factory had shipped millions to Scotland, where, in 2018, according to the National Crime Agency, the drug contributed to 500 deaths. At the time, a mother of one of those victims talked to Channel 4 News. They don't care that that they're killing people. They don't care. That, that doesn't matter to them. All they're interested in is their money. And some of them died for maybe £10. So that's what her life was worth. Every police force in the country has been involved. This suspect, marched out of his driveway, is one of 746 who have so far been arrested. There have been the usual luxury goods found in unusual places. Cash under the bed, cash in plastic bags, cash in chest of drawers have amounted to a total of more than 54 million pounds seized by the National Crime Agency, all allegedly linked to organized crime. Dozens of networks are said to have been taken down. This is an amazing moment, I think, for um, UK policing and UK law enforcement. Thanks to our um, partners in the National Crime Agency and internationally, we have been able to uh, hit the most senior levels of organised crime. Dismantling criminal syndicates normally takes years. The scale of this operation is unprecedented and one which police hope will destabilise organised crime for a significant time. Simon Israel. Well, that investigation was led in the UK by the National Crime Agency and its director of investigations, Nikki Holland, joins me now. Thanks for coming on the programme, uh, and I guess congratulations on this one. Um, Organised crime, even when it, they get arrested in huge numbers, has a habit of reforming itself and reconstituting itself elsewhere. Why do you think it might be different this time? I think it's as you've heard during the programme from um, policing colleagues, this has been the biggest UK operation uh, in terms of serious and organised crime, uh, as well as the 746 arrests so far. We've seized £54 million in cash, over 77 firearms and just under two tonnes of drugs. Um, this operation has taken place during the lockdown period and during the last three months when drug supply into the UK has actually been at an all-time low. So it will take the cr criminals a substantial amount of time to recover from the impact upon their businesses. And of course, this is just the start of the operation. There is a lot more to come. And have the circumstances of the lockdown actually helped you to discover these uh, criminals, alleged criminals? So the criminals remaining in the UK and being at home more often than they would be has certainly made our job a little bit easier when we've gone to get them.
Right. And uh, what will the impact of this be on county lines and underage drug traffickers? So I think it's important that we, we know as part of this operation, this is actually targeted people at the middle tier and the top tiers of the criminal echelons. So your iconic uncomfortables, your Mr and Mrs Biggs out in the community, as opposed to your county lines offenders who, who generally are street level drugs dealers. So it will impact in terms of the choking of the supply that ultimately gets to the street during county lines. But this has been very much targeted at people who the police have tried to deal with for many, many years and have been unable to do so until now. The, the sort of people who used to revel in the, 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 the name untouchable, they're no longer untouchable. Exactly. This has been for the, you know, the National Crime Agency and all of the police forces. This has been like having a person on the inside of every criminal gang where we can see exactly what they're doing. And, and just one more briefly. I mean, apparently until now, it's been uh, impermissible to use eavesdropping evidence in court. I mean, this was eavesdropping, wasn't it? So how is this going to be different? So, so this isn't eavesdropping, this is not um, intercept in the same way. This is actually messages on a criminal platform. So an EncroChat device uh, messages another EncroChat device. It is an entirely criminal platform mm -hmm. and they message each other uh, to deal their drugs, their, their illicit cash and their firearms. Right, and finally, briefly, to any criminals watching tonight, what's your message to them? that we've had a humongous success so far. As some of them have already noted, uh, the police are currently winning, than, and this is only just the start. We are still coming for a lot more of you. Nicky Holland, thank you very much indeed. John. <laughs>